Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, again, we're supposed to solve this equation. We have a left side, we have a right side. We're looking for the value of x such that when we plug that value in for x, the left side will equal the right side. That's what we mean by solving the equation. Notice also that this is a quadratic equation because it has a square term, x to the second power. It also has fractions. And whatever type of equation we have, the first thing we should always do is get rid of parentheses, decimals and fractions. So in this case, we're going to get rid of the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator. In this case, the denominator is 5, so we'll multiply the left side by 5, and we multiply the right side by 5. By doing that, we will get rid of the fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. The 5 cancels out. We have 2x squared plus x equals 3. Now that looks a little bit more like a quadratic equation. The next thing we should do, since it's a quadratic equation, is move everything to one side and set it equal to 0 on the other side. So we move the, the 3 over and we get 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. Now the next thing is that we need to solve this and we can do it in various ways. If it's factorable, we'll try to factor it. If it's not factorable, we can use the quadratic formula. So let's see if we can actually factor this. And to do that, we're going to rewrite this as the, let's see, we're going to take the middle term and write it as the sum of two middle terms. So we write 2x squared minus 3 equals 0, and the plus x will become two middle terms in terms of, of x. Now, what are the coefficients on these two middle terms? Well, that depends. We know that the sum of the two, the sum, must equal what this is equal to. So the sum of the two numbers must equal 1, and the product of the two numbers must equal the product of the 2 in front of the x squared, and the constant here, minus 3. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So we're looking for two numbers such that when the product is minus 6 and the sum is 1, the two numbers would be a positive 3 and a minus 2. When you multiply them together, you get minus 6. When you add them together, 3 plus a minus 2, you get a positive 1. That means we're going to write this as follows. This is a minus 2x and a plus 3x. Now let's see if we can factor this. We're going to group them in two groups of 2. On the left side, we can factor out a 2x, and we'll end up with an x minus 1, and plus 3 times, here we get an x minus 1. And it looks like it is factorable because now we can factor out a common term of x minus 1. So x minus 1 times what's left, 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now the last part is we realize that we have a binomial multiplied times the binomial and we get 0. So whenever we multiply two things together and we get 0, that means either one is 0 or the other is 0, which means that either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or the quantity 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. If we solve each of those two equations, we'll get the two solutions to our original problem. Since it's a quadratic equation, we typically have as many as two solutions. The first solution is that x equals 1. And the second solution is, well, we get 2x is equal to minus 3, divide both sides by 2, and we get x is equal to minus 3 over 2. That means either one of the two will solve this original equation. Of course, we kind of changed the original equation. Let's rewrite it again. We have we have 2 fifths x squared plus 1 fifth x equals 3 fifths. Notice that if we plug in the value of x equals 1, we get 2 fifths plus 1 fifth equals 3 fifths. That's correct. And if we plug in x equals minus 3 halves, Again, we should get the left side equal to the right side. So these are the two solutions to our original equation. Either x equals 1 or x equals negative 3 halves. And that's how it's done.